This is the part two of the video series on problems on profit percentage and loss percentage. And the problem says a shopkeeper buys 80 articles for Rs 2400 and sells them for a profit of 16%. Find the selling price of one article. So imagine that you are that shopkeeper who buys 80 articles for Rs 2400. So you buy 80 articles you buy 80 articles for Rs 2400 and then you sell these articles at a profit of 16% and now you have to tell the selling price of one article not of 80 articles but selling price of one article this is important Okay, you can proceed to solve this problem in two different ways. The first way is like the cost price of 80 articles is the cost price is rupees 2400. Okay, now the profit that you make on while selling these 80 articles is 16%. So the profit percentage is profit percentage is 16%. So what will calculate calculate will calculate the profit, the actual profit that you made. So we know that we calculate the profit or loss at the cost price. So 16 percentage of the cost price that is rupees 2400 so if you calculate this one you get 16 by 100 multiplied by 2400 and if you solve it then these two zeros gone and you get rupees 384 this is the profit which you make when you sell these 80 articles at a profit of 16%. Okay, so if this is a profit rupees 384, now what will be the selling price of these 80 articles? The selling price for these 80 articles, for 80 articles, will be the cost price that is 2400 plus this profit that you make. So this will be 384, right? So your selling price of these 80 articles comes as rupees 2784. Okay, this is the selling price of 80 articles. From here, we can calculate the selling price of one article. So if this is the price of 80 articles, so for one, so for one article, that is the selling price, the selling price of one article, that's simple, you divide this by eight, so rupees, 2784 you divide this by 8 80 because we have to calculate for one article and if you solve it you get you get rupees 34.8 that is rupees 34 and 80 passe right or 8 passe so this is 34.8. This is the price of one article. Now, another way. The other way can be that this is the first way and this is the second way. Now, whether you calculate the 16 percentage on this whole, that is the cost price of 20, uh, 80 articles, or you calculate the 16% on single article. 
both will give you the same result. I'll show you. This is the cost price of this is the cost price of AD articles. Right? So cost price of 80 articles is rupees 2400. Okay. So tell me what will be the cost price of one article? Clearly this is rupees 2400 and divided by 80. You get rupees 30. So the cost price of one article is rupees 30. Can you see the difference? Here we are approaching by calculating the cost price of one article, but here we use whole AD articles, complete AD articles. That is the difference. Now here we are calculating the cost price of one article. Okay. So the cost price of one article is rupees 30. Now if I sell this one article, at a profit of 16%. I'm again repeating. Whether you take this profit on this whole or on the single cost price of one article, you will get the same result. Okay. So the profit that we make, the profit percentage is given as 16%. So if you have to calculate the profit that you make on one single article here this profit was on 80 articles here the profit is on one article so you get 16 percentage of the cost price of one article that is 30 and this gives you 16 by 100 multiplied by 30 and from here you get rupees 4.8 that is rupees 480 passive okay now you have the val the value of profit that you make on one article so what will be the selling price of one article that's very simple the selling price of one article will be cost price of one article plus the profit that you make on one article. So what's the cost price of one article? That is rupees 30. And what's the profit that you make on one article when you sell it at percent at a percent of profit of 16%? That is 4.8. If you add these two together, you get rupees 34.8 that is rupees 34 and 80 passive can you see the same answer you have you get the same answers in these two different ways so what's the point the point is whether you calculate this profit or loss percentage on a single cost price of one article cost price of one article or you approach in a way where you calculate the profit on the whole articles you are going to get the same answer right okay now let's move to the next problem the cost of an article was rupees 15500 it needed rupees 450 to repair repair the article if it is sold for a profit of 15% find the selling price of the article now, before solving this problem, let's assume a situation. Let's assume that you are owner of this. Let's say that this is a TV show. This is a TV show. Okay, you are the owner of this TV show. Okay. Now imagine that here, this is the factory of the TV. This is the factory. So of course, you, you are the owner of this showroom.
So of course you are not going to order one TV or two TVs, right? You are of course going to order more than you know in, in a bulk. So let's say that you order X TVs, you order X TVs, X number of TVs. So you order it from factory to your showroom. X or let's say 1000 TV sets, let's say or 100 TV sets. Okay. So if the cost price of one TV set is rupees X, if the cost price is rupees X, then of course of 100 will be rupees 100 X because X multiplied by 100. We assume this situation. Okay. So now if you include here, let's say you include here labor charges. You include here labor charges, right? Then you include here transportation charges. Then you include one more insurance. And there can be other you know charges as well these charges are actually you know are bared, are being bared by you you are the one who are who is paying for these labor charges for transportation charges and for insurance and for other all charges now if the cost price is rupees 100x let's say that this is 50,000 let's say that this is 50,000 50,000 of these 100 TV sets or not 50,000 or 50 lakh. This 50,000 who gets TV set in 50,000. So this is 50 lakhs. So this is the cost price of 100 TV sets. Now, when it reaches to you, when it reaches to you, then the final cost price final cost price will not be this 50 lakh that will be rupees 50 lakh plus this labor charge plus labor charge plus this transportation charge plus this insurance and other charges you'll add them together and you'll get a final cost price or the total cost price. Because when you will sell this TV sets, then you are going to, you know, get back these charges from your customer. You're not going to you know, bear these amounts. Okay. So these different charges are ca called overhead charges. These are overhead charges and whenever you are you have to calculate the profit percentage or the loss percentage or the selling price or whatever your cost price is now going to be this one that is a total cost price that includes labor charges transportation charges insurance and hell of other charges that you have to pay from your pocket okay this overhead charges is these labor charges, transportation and insurance. Okay, now let's solve this problem. And from finally here, you sell this to your customers. Taking baseline, this total cost price. So let's solve this problem. The cost of an article was rupees 15,500. It needed rupees 450 to repair the article. Okay, now this rupees 450 is what? Is an overhead charge. Overhead charge. And the cost price is rupees 15,500. 
it needed rupees 450 to repair the article that is this is the overhead charge if it is sold for a profit of 15 percent find the selling price of the article so tell me what will be your final cost price that will be rupees 15,500 plus rupees 450 and you get rupees 15,950. This is the final cost price. And now on this final cost price, you'll calculate your profit. That is 15%. So the profit percentage is the profit per percentage is 15%. So if you calculate the profit, that's the amount if you have to calculate, this is calculated on, always remember, on cost price. So what cost price will take? Will you take this one? No, this one. So 15,950. If you solve it, you get 1,500 multiplied by 15,950. And when we solve it, we get rupees 2,000. 392.5 that is rupees 2392.5 is your profit this is a profit that you will make if you sell it at a profit percentage of 15 percent now what's the selling price so your selling price will be cost price plus profit again what cost price you will take? Will you take this one? No, again this one. Now because this is your base cost price. So you get 15,950 plus, of course you'll have rupees here, plus profit is 2,392.5. If you solve, you get rupees 18,342.5 so this is your selling price if your cost price is this much overhead price overhead charge is rupees 450 and you sell it at a profit of 15% this will be your selling price